is usually it runs in the family. In the family. Mm -hmm. But none of my family has it. Mm -hmm. But um, my mom can have it because mm -hmm. she's expressed anger. Mm -hmm. She's an angry person because um, bird person too because she had mm -hmm. to raise us four kids mm -hmm. and and um, I think. See, my sister suffers from mental illness too, but she doesn't take any mm -hmm. pills or anything like that. She um, takes um, thyroid pills mm -hmm. because most of her suffering is physical. Mm -hmm. And she's painfully thin. I'm kind of chubby. So. You might need it one day, you know. I, I always tell people when they get unhappy about their weight, um, you never know when you need it. And there was actually a case uh, I would like to share with you. Uh, there was a lady that. Um, um, she complained about her weight, you know, and then um, they put her on Prozac. And oh. uh, somewhere along the line, anyway, to make her feel better, I said, you keep your weight, you might need it one day. And somewhere along the line, I'm not sure if the Prozac had built up in her system or, or she had just forgot she had taken it anyway. It just sort of stacked up on her and uh, she ac almost accidentally killed herself. And they said that if she had weighed a half a pound less, she would not have lived. So we never know why we got the weight. I know, it's mm -hmm. extra padding. Um, I find that I'm so, str so much stronger mm -hmm. now than I was before. Mm -hmm. But I can't run. That's the only thing I can't do because then I get spasms. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's from kidneys or whatever, but I don't want to go into that. Yeah. We're delving on health, and physical health instead of mental health, mm -hmm. and I want to stay in. With the, with, the With the mental health. With the mental health, yes. Yeah, that's, that's really great. So anyway, so schizophrenia is called, caused by an internal uh, problem, and what had happened to me came from, it was caused by some other circumstances. But, but you're doing pretty good right now, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's the medication or not, but I haven't been sleeping very well. Mm -hmm. Nobody's been sleeping very well. We have some planets out there. Oh, that's right. It's just in a really strange place. And yeah, I have explained it to I you. I took a nap yeah. before I came into the studio. Yeah. And I slept. Yeah. So and I needed to sleep. But I was just, I'm a night person, see. So am I. Mm -hmm. and, um, and sometimes I stay awake at night, which throws my equilibrium off during the mm -hmm. day. But um, I'm going, I'm taking, um, well, see, my medication consists of 50 milligrams of prolixin shots mm -hmm. that I take, plus mm -hmm. five milligrams of prolixin shots. Mm -hmm. Then they gave me some, th uh, not Thorazine. It starts with a T, but I can't I don't know. Remember. I'm familiar with Thorazine. And yeah, uh, I used to take Thorazine. Yeah, then you probably wouldn't have been able to come here today. You know, if I had Thorazine, really no. It's very it's a strong out. drug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was on um, Melaril. Then I was take Artane one time, and um, it and it gave me a cramp in my arm. Oh my! And um, so I'm allergic to that. Mm -hmm. So um, I've had some reactions. Haldol mm -hmm. is one of the first ones that they give everybody when they first get sick mm -hmm. in mental illness when they have a mental illness. And um, I started to do the shuffle, and I remember. They said, I didn't want to take it at first. I go, well, mm -hmm. do you want a shot instead? Mm -hmm. And I said, no. So now I'm taking shots. And I used to be afraid of them, but mm -hmm. I welcome them now. And I'm hardly bleeding mm -hmm. from those shots so that I'm getting healthier yeah. the more I exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, at the point that now. That lifts depression. Yeah. So you're at the point now where you can do almost everything for yourself? Pretty much. I mm -hmm. wish I had a car right now, but I have to study the test. And um, I'm a pretty good driver, mm -hmm. except that one time I got into an accident because I was, it, it was a bad accident too. And um, this happened in California. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going to work, this is before I became sick. And um, I was on a left-hand lane and then a car came by and I went into the right-hand lane and then I sideswiped him. Mm -hmm. And it was a 1966 vintage Mercedes Benz. Oh, not good, not good, not uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I understand you're gonna try to go on a trip this summer. You what, said you're going to California. I was thinking about visiting mm -hmm. my son and my mom and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
them, but I think that, um, see, I'm going to go back to school to become an interpreter. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, that's right, you speak... Uh, I speak Spanish. Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I might be moving to Eastern Washington where they need um, mm -hmm. Spanish interpreters there more than they do here. Mm -hmm. So... Now, we did not discuss this part. It, this was just a thought that I had. Now, I have... Um, they're not... Well, there's a difference between an illness and a condition, in, in my mind. In, an illness to me is like if I get the flu or I wake up with a cold or something. And a condition to me is something that's there regardless. And I have good days and I have bad days. And, and I know that. And then I can just adjust what I want to do according to what kind of day am I having. Um, is, is your illness similar to that? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wake, I wake up groggy. Sometimes, see, I hear voices. Mm -hmm. And um, and they're frightening. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they are. I just hear them. And depending on on the mood of the day, sometimes when I go visit my counselor, they're good. Mm -hmm. But on times where I'm not doing nothing, and I start thinking, then the voices come back and they become real terrible. They even threaten my life. Mm -hmm. And it becomes real scary. And so. I've learned to ignore them, mm -hmm. and with the help of my counselors, um, telling, t telling them about my voices, mm -hmm. they want to know what they are saying. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they just um, say to ignore them. Mm -hmm. so, so they really, in your case, they, it's really working for you, they're really helping you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. St. Peter's. Now, suppose an, uh, suppose an what would you tell a person to watch for if you, if, if somebody in the family got sick and didn't realize it? What, what do you watch for? Erratic behavior. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody I know has erratic behavior. That's pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when they start pacing. Pacing. Yeah, mm -hmm. when they start pacing. That's what I did a lot. I did a lot mm -hmm. of pacing. That's a good indication. Mm -hmm. of um, somebody getting struck with mental illness. Um, other things that may happen are um, loud, loud... Um, see, mostly mental illness comes about and they're, it's, a, it's like you're in a manic phase mm -hmm. when you're in a manic depressive. And, um, but sometimes they, they rule that out. Like, for instance, in my case, um, I was more scared. Mm -hmm. So they labeled me schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia, because paranoid, of course, means scared. Scared, yeah. And schizophrenia means change. And um, many depressive people go have highs and lows. Mm -hmm. So I was exactly, having some yeah. highs and lows. And um, there are more, I believe that there are more many depressives than there are paranoid schizophrenias. Mm -hmm because of that. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing to watch out for, I think, is the highs and lows. Mm -hmm. Because, um, and solitude. Solitude is very bad. Mm -hmm. If a person spends too much time with themselves. Mm -hmm. And even in small children. You know, small ch small children too. If they spend lots of times alone, like these last kids, I feel so sorry for them yeah. because uh, my son was a large key kid, but he's not sick. Mm -hmm. He was very independent, and um, he was just like me mm -hmm. when I was growing up. Had lots of friends, danced a lot, and um, now he's unemployed because he had some jail time and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But I, when I got sick, that's when he started acting out. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't be with him. He was probably scared. Yeah, he was scared. Mm -hmm. He was scared of being in jail. I remember one time he was, he would have been sent home to visit me, but I couldn't take him because I was in a placement home. Yeah. And they don't allow children there. Not even, and um, some of my roommates didn't even want him to visit. And I was really mad at that. Well, well, here again, it just affects the whole family, you know. What one person has something, it just affects the whole family. And then, uh, now, I asked, I asked this, some of the other friends, too. 
the, the ADD kids, the, the kids that, you know, run all over the place. And like oh, when you came son. to my, we had a little problem at my house the other day. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then they, they put them on riddle and do you, do you think that's not a good thing? The reason I thought about it is when we talked about pacing, some of the kids can sit still and, you know, so. My son took Ritalin when mm -hmm. he was in this Del Mar back in California. Mm -hmm. And um, it helped a lot. It did help him. It did help him a lot. In fact, um, he calmed down a lot. Mm -hmm. And he suffered no side effects from it. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I think any medication is bad for you because it harms your immune system. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a doctor, so I, I can't really say that for sure. Although some of the medication did affect my immune system, mm -hmm. but this medication that I'm taking now, you know what? I haven't had a cold this winter. Nothing, yeah. And um, so I know the medication is working for me. Yeah, you always want to go. I see you walking and riding a bike. and. And I'm hanging around my house and thinking, gee, now where is she going? Because you're just so active, you know? I try to be. I try to go out to eat. I try to go mm -hmm. to the library and um, read some books because um, I hate sitting down and watching TV because I get so anxious. Mm -hmm. I always like to be on the go. But I know sometimes I wish I lived in New York City because that's a 24-hour city. Yeah, you could just go from one place to the other. I yeah. know, but it's so expensive to live there, so I decided to stay in Washington mm -hmm. because I love the rain, I love the cold, mm -hmm. and I love the snow. Well, that's a good thing because you get, you get on the bus every day. Yes. And that's a long wait, you know, in the, in the weather that we have. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I make sure that I'm bundled up warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, um, in, according to yourself, you've just come a long way. You can do just about anything. You, in fact, you thinking about going back to work? Yes, yeah. um, but I have, see, when I first came to Washington, I hitchhiked up here. Mm -hmm. But before I stopped off and I went to jail because, um, I went to jail because I, th I was delusional. I wasn't on any medication. I thought that people, I was on a mission, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought that people were going to leave cars for me. So this car was open and I was rummaging through the car and the owner of the car came back and said, this is my car, what are you doing? I said, well, please, miss, don't, don't press charges. This was a mistake. But she called the police anyway. Mm -hmm. And I was arrested and I spent some time in jail, but not long. Mm -hmm. They let me go. And then um, when, I, when I first went to Olympia, um, I waited a long time in Kelso mm -hmm. to, for a ride, but um, I finally got a ride, and I went up to Olympia and walked the streets just angry because nobody would help me, and I didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, I'm looking for a job right now, but to bring, to come back to when I first hitchhiked to Washington, I robbed the Denny's because I was so hungry. I wanted money, but I could have asked for food from the restaurant instead of I took the money. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't thinking right. I was without money for so long. I wanted to buy what I wanted to eat. I didn't want to necessarily eat at Denny's. I just wanted to rob the place. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, they. They put me in jail for, this has happened in 1994. As a matter of fact, these two pennies that I have here remind me of um, being in 1990. These were given to me by a teenager that mm -hmm. spent the night with me because he didn't have any place to go and I wanted to help him out. So we watched videos and stuff like that and he get, and I asked him, I asked him about this and he said, well, this is 1994. And so I said, oh, um, can I have it? Because I, it, cause it, it brought me luck when I came here, okay? Mm -hmm. I, met, I met friends that were not backstabbers, like mm -hmm. uh, the friends that I had on my paralegal job and stuff like that. 
See, I was into drugs too. Mm -hmm. And I almost died from a cocaine overdose. As a matter of fact, they weren't going to give me my SSI because they thought that I was a drug addict.